Am I back? Yes. Oh, <clears throat> well, welcome back to you too. <laughs> welcome back, yeah. I'm very happy to be here. This is a lovely environment, and Tatiana is the best hostess. Thank very you. Very enjoyable to be here in your space. And I honor and respect both you and your husband, and you have lovely stories to tell. I very much appreciate you. And thank you all for being alive on this planet at this time. That's what it's about. Um, this is probably the final segment at this time. And I was talking about having done that OT3 Expanded and Hubbard was promoting me to be a CS5. Sorry, Bell. He was off, taken off that post when I was on the ship in 1969, and it was now early 1970. And Susan Pomeroy was running up and down the stairs between me and Mary Sue Hubbard, saying, Ron said to Mary Sue, yes, Candy Swanson's great, but she's only been around for two years. She's done all these missions and fantastic but only two years, what's with that, you know? And Mary Sue said to Hubbard, well, she was Candy Chaliff before that, the first two years, and he went, oh my God, you mean, he didn't use those words, of course, but it's like the same, that's one person, all this and all that, you put it all together, I had done a whole lot. And very successfully, I was very feisty, I was, Hell on wheels, let me tell you, I was all about, we make things happen, and we do it with the grace of God, and we're all about positive outcome. Let's not kill people in the process. Hello. So, um, the night before I became CS5, that was the promotion, I had an epiphany, I had a vision while I was sleeping. I woke up and I went, oh my goodness, this game that Hubbard has is much like a pyramid with Hubbard at the top of the pyramid. He's the source. Anyone, especially technical people getting close to him, Commodore Staff 4, Commodore Staff 5, are the tech folks very, very close to the top, but you can't be source, only Hubbard's the source. So I wrote up this wonderful thing, and Sue Pomeroy again ran it upstairs. I, I said, I decline the promotion, thank you very much, but I would like to go off and create my own game, because I realize I'd like to be source of my own game. And... I don't want to be total source. My games involve everyone and we're all in the game together. Either it's a vegetarian restaurant or it's a field practice. We're all playing the game together. We're all sharing. We all contribute. We have a wonderful way of experiencing the world. Problems are there for us to learn in life from each other, really, you know, and get our life's lessons. So um, Hubbard said okay and gave me his blessings in a written form because I'd asked to go out and do my own game. And about a month later, with my friend Loy Combs' help with her mother, we were off the ship and we were back in Los Angeles. It was amazing. Holy smokes, it happened so fast. From Morocco... Las Palmas, Canary Islands, Portugal, Lisbon, all over the place, and back in Los Angeles. So I went over and I checked in with Hannah Eltringham. She was still Eltringham. She was a head of FOLO in the whole United States, right there in Los Angeles. And I'm thinking before I get there, she's never going to believe me. Oh, well, go tell Hannah. I'm going on a leave of absence. I go up to her office. She's behind her desk. She's a wonderful, wonderful person. And I say, Hannah, you're not going to believe this, but Hubbard gave me permission to go do my own game, create my own game. <gasps> you know? She says, yes, I believe you. And she pulls out this flag order 
that she had just gotten. I wish I had a copy of that, Hannah. She shows it to me. It says at the top, in all caps, Candy Swanson, Supreme Test of a Dayton, something like this. And it's a full page. I think it's double-spaced. And at the bottom, I check, because it said L. Ron Hubbard was his name, not from someone else for Ron. It was Ron. And the whole thing she read out to me was Candy Swanson epitomizes the supreme test of a Thetan, the ability to make things go right. Boy, do I have that. <laughs> so uh, it was such an acknowledgement. It was incredible. She believed me that Hubbard really gave me permission to do my own game. And she read this thing and I went, oh my gosh. She said, would you mind going next door for a minute though? Because Yvonne needs help. Can you just go check on Yvonne? She needs help starting this thing called Celebrity Center. So I go to the house next door. There are these two houses, Beacon Way or whatever the name of that street was. And my friend that I became friends with, Frank Dunn, had found Yvonne the big, long, beautiful wood building there on 8th Street. This whole thing was just coming together. I go to see Yvonne, whose daughters had introduced her to me at the end of the liability cruise. Mommy, Mommy, we want you to meet Candy. She's our tutor. And they bring her right to my cabin, a little cabin. Uh, this is a few years earlier. And I meet Yvonne in my cabin. I'm packing, getting ready to go help set up the advanced organization in Edinburgh, Scotland. We're getting fired off on this mission. And uh, there is Yvonne and her two daughters. And I meet this wonderful woman. I'd never met Yvonne before. I missed meeting Hubbard. He was on the ship, but I didn't meet him. And um, we go off on this mission. Well, my boyfriend at the time was Neville Chamberlain, not the Neville Chamberlain, his grandson, I believe. Anyway, Neville's another sweetheart, just a lovely guy. And we all did the advance org in Edinburgh, from which, with Neville's help and Commander Bill Robertson, I went and did the uh, Flight of Freedom. I'm missing Gary now. <laughs> Flight of Freedom. 15 stop lecture tour on the East Coast. And yes, you can see all these photos on my Facebook. They're on my Facebook. And um, I'm in Town Hall, next door to Carnegie Hall in New York City. I'm up shaking hands with Rory Tate. I think that was his name, up in Toronto. We went, we were down in Washington, D.C., You'll see all these different photos. It was 15 stop lecture tour. I was the first OT5, operating Thetan number five in the United States. What did I do? I shine, shine, shine. That's what I'm good at. Shine. Well, 350 people came with us to England. I got through with the first 11 folks. The rest of them, we got banned. I'm sorry to say, this is not a happy topic. But it was a momentous occasion for Scientology and L. Ron Hubbard. We got banned in England, in all of the United Kingdom, Scientology. And we came to Los Angeles. You'll see this photo of me on my Facebook. Uh, my avatar, is that what it's called? It's the newspaper article. <laughs> In a Scottish newspaper, I was the only spokesperson for the advanced organization in Scotland. I was a public officer there. So I had all these newspaper reporters, and this is the one article I chose, and saying, we're not running away. And uh, we all had to head out, all of us Americans, ended up in Los Angeles in a week. My partner, Randy Knight, had all the rest of the people that had been banned from, you know, couldn't get into England, all the Americans. And they met us in Los Angeles. And Commander Bill Robertson says to me, Well, Candy, what would you like to do now? I said, I guess I'm going to audit because I'm a class six. I haven't hardly audited at all. 
And that's when I became a review auditor, which I excel in qual division, quality control. And uh, I audited a whole lot. Now, what was the story I'm on? Yvonne. Yvonne. Hannah Eltringham sends me next door. This is two or three years later, 1970. And Yvonne says, she already knows me. Her daughter's introduced us. Oh, Candy, would you just help me set up the Celebrity Center, please, dear? She's so lovely. And she's from Australia, and she had this wonderful accent. And I say, sure, I'm starting on a leave of absence to start my own game, but of course I will help you, Yvonne. You a you're asking so nicely, but I only have about two weeks. She says, well, we're... um." setting this thing up she's got the building and she doesn't have staff she's just beginning so she forms this celebrity center around me like this and i'm the auditor a class 8 auditor and i'm auditing celebrities directly in this building on beacon street i think it is in some room and they're paying me directly, 25 bucks an hour. I do my own case supervision. I'm the examiner at the end of session. Now and then I'll grab someone, Sam Loria or someone passing by. Would you come and do an exam I just finished as she builds this organization around me? Well, six months later, I have to go, Yvonne. No, 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 please stay, please stay. I need your help. Okay, six more months. Okay, my pay is now down to $5 an hour. I have Don Keeler for a case supervisor. I've had Ellen Jones, wonderful supervisors, case supervising me. The whole organization's in place. 1972. Yvonne, I have to go. <laughs> go do my game. It's three years. She says, if you're not with me, you're against me. And has me come of. Well, the Committee of Evidence did not find anything wrong with my tech. Bless their hearts. They're lovely people. I said, Yvonne, I, re I really need to go. You need to let go of me. You have five other celebrity auditors here. She says, but darling, no one can do what you can do. And that was the end of that story there. Yvonne was lovely. I'm very happy I got to help in the beginning of Celebrity Center because the idea was wonderful. Um... I don't care how much money people have or what they're doing with their lives. I personally feel that health is wealth. And being healthy at any age is a true blessing. And I would be happy to share with anyone, you know, anything. Just call me, PM me. I'm friendly. I'm from Hawaii. Aloha. <laughs> Goodbye. Peace. Love. I'm out. Thank you.